Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. You won't see an introduction video or a conclusion video of this video, but never mind that. Um, let's just get straight into it. Um, once I get sorted out, guys, I promise I will explain everything, but this video is just about my classroom. Okay, so welcome to my classroom, and I'm gonna give you a full tour before I get into detail with everything. So I'm gonna show you guys just a tour of the entire classroom that I actually did by myself. Hard work. Yes, I worked hard, guys, and I am freaking tired, but I'm finally done. So let's just get straight into it. So I'm going to start over here and this is where you enter and I actually did purple because it matches with the rugs but we'll get there. So I'm actually doing like an animal theme and so when I saw these borders I fell in love okay. Everything just lined up perfectly and everything just always works in my favor. Over here this is basically the alphabet chart up here. Um, here I have our class rules just so the kids are reminded of it every day. Down here this is basically like a reading corner. Whatever, I didn't really know what to put in, so I just wanted to make use of the charts I had. Over here, this is the, the other chart, so, you know, I always want to incorporate real life situations. This is the traffic light, just so the kids stay on track. I have windows, um, so in, so I, so some guys actually came here and they did some construction on my room and they gave me some cupboards and so i'm taking this cupboard out and i actually took another cupboard out already this they have to put up but i'm not sure if i'm going to keep that this is actually the same thing that was on my door but this goes on the outside but i actually took it down because i don't want to put it up yet i'm going to put that up sometime in january so i'm not sure if i'm going to keep this file folder because this is empty and i was just saying i was just going to let the kids but there are books and folders underneath the cupboard, so I don't know if I'm going to keep this. This, I actually made this two days ago, and this is, I made this out of a Welcome Bahamas book. So this is too many books, and I just put it together. I didn't know where to put it, so I just put it there for now. Up here, I have these baskets where it's like morning work, just, just extra work in case the kids don't have nothing to do or you know we're done for the day they'll have extra work this is actually my cupboard where my stuff are and i just kind of wanted to talk so over here i'm actually going to be putting my sticker chart here but i haven't wrote the names on it yet so i'll be putting it up in january over here this is basically my classroom rules today is so it's like where the kids are sitting as you can see i already have them sitting in groups or whatever but where they're sitting they'll be able to you know if they're standing here waiting for me to mark their book or something. They can always just be looking at the classroom rules and staying abreast with everything. So yeah, let's take a look at my, so as you know, I'm a really organized person. So this is pretty much all of my teaching supplies that I'll be using and so forth. I just try to keep myself a little bit organized. Oops, that mosquito got out. Okay, so now here is my numbers of here. Super cute, it goes to 20. And these are my boards here. I have creative writing, language, that will consist of listening, comprehension, phonics, reading, math. This will be inclusive of application concepts, computation. This will be like spelling, um, creative writing. This is basically like composition. I'm probably going to put some handwriting up here as well. Down below, I have a sonic font. This is actually in my room, but I just brought it here because I'm like, I know the class is going to get it hot. Let me just keep it out of my room. I can always buy one from my room. These are the shapes here. Super cute. Down here is my desk. I haven't put the sergeant in the middle yet, but I'll do that in January. Some things I'm leaving for January. Down here, these rugs I actually had in my room. Super cute. So I just was like, you know what? Let me just bring it to school. Whatever. So they could serve, actually serve a purpose here. So in the back here, I really didn't know where to put these things, but I realized like when the kids are here and like when they're talking to me and stuff like that, I really want them to stay motivated. And so I just have some motivational stuff in the back of me. Be positive, patient, persistent, please wait to be greeted, think before you speak. So and just give them some reminder of, you know, just some type of inspiration. I have a happy birthday chart here. This would have 
should have actually been over there in my reading section, but I didn't have no space for it. So I just kept it here. Hopefully it still works. Um, here is actually the reading corner. So I actually put this, I know they normally do this in preschool where you have like the rug and the kids sit on the rug and they just do all, and I'm just that type of person that I love for my kids to feel comfortable and so forth. So they, so on their free time, like if they're done with their work on time, I'm just gonna let them come here, sit on the rug and read a book. So over here, this is actually my favorite board here. This is like the math section. So I have like place value, counting numbers, time tables, fractions. So this is basically like my math section. Over here is where I'm keeping like books and stuff that the kids will use. So I have like math, social studies, reading, religious, down here, I didn't really know, I got these from a teacher, I didn't really know where to put these, but these are like the fruits of the spirit. So I just kind of put them here, like at eye level, so the kids can just have something to read at all, to read at all time. So they are literally walking in the classroom, they have something to read at all time. And I put the rest here, because I didn't have any space. So down here, I also have the colors, and you can find these at the creative classroom. She actually did these for me, she did. I got it at a good price. I think I paid one fifty, and I got like six. I think what came in it was the colors, shapes, numbers, alphabet, months of the year, and the days of the week. So if you guys are interested, just check out the creative classroom. She also did my door as well. So when I do my door, I'll let you guys see that. So anyway, up here is the days of the week, and I'm actually, like I said earlier, I'm doing like uh, animal theme. Down here, I just put these here because I think they just fit so well on that skinny wall there. Up here, I got these on sale from a place. And it's just, you know, just to remind the kids, you know, if you're doing a great job, if you need, if you're not, if you're not on task and so forth. So like I said, um, if you look around my classroom, like they'll always have something to read and that's my goal. I just want them to be reading anything. I actually need to put up some labels and stuff like labeling the window, labeling teacher's desk, the fan, stuff like that, clock, just so they will always read. So in this section here is my science section, as you can see. I have some vectors, reptiles, mammals. And then down here, this kind of ties in with like social studies, social studies area. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm actually gonna move that sign that says social studies and I'm gonna put that right in front there. So this is my board here and that's my spelling area over there. Um, so I just have the national symbols at the front here along with the map of the Bahamas. I did have a poster that said the map of the world, but that got torn. Um, this is actually just gonna say religious studies. So like I said, I'm gonna move this. Let me just take it down now. So this is actually gonna be my religious studies area. So if you know, we don't do them separate anymore. We do like, we do like ID, which is interdisciplinary. So that's why I put them to the front. So this is like science, this is like social studies, this is like religion. So I wanted them to tie, kind of tie in together. And then I also have my math section, I have my language section, and I do have my reading section, okay? So my class, the setup of my class actually serves a purpose. Um, okay, if we go down in my cupboards, because I cleaned, I literally cleaned all these out. This is like my kid's toy area. I normally keep them up, but I think I'm gonna keep them in the cupboard this time, just so it's not so distracting. So like I said, I literally cleaned out all of these cupboards, okay? I've been working hard. This is like the math center. I haven't, I have to organize that. Okay, that's just some charts in there. So I, I literally have, one moment. So I literally cleaned out all of those cupboards. So they're clean. I cleaned out all the books, all the trash is gone. These are empty because like I said, I want the kids books and folders in them. This file folder is empty. Like I said, these I cleaned out in here as well. So everything is organized. But of course, I'm gonna reorganize this in January just to make sure. So yeah, I even organized my teachers. My teacher desk. I mean, should I really show you guys what's in it? But yeah, this is on my, this is on the back of me desk looks <laughs> and yeah so this is my classroom like i said that white thing is going to be moved and i'm honestly super proud of this classroom um i didn't show you guys these so it is animal centered so each group has a name 
This one is octopus. This one, let's see what this one is. Sea turtle. This one is the whale. What is this? Dolphin. And over here it fell, so I gotta put it back up. But this fan basically caters to the back of the class and myself. That fan over there will cater to like the front area and then my classroom will doors normally open. So like I said, I'm gonna give you guys one more tour of the room. Super cute. I'm I just love everything. So I'll start over here. Oh my god, y'all. I just I love everything. Whew. I worked so hard. Like these past couple days, like I've just been doing so much. Okay, I've been working extremely hard, but I'm finally done. Everyone who's come in, they they love it and I love it too. And like I said, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. More content is coming soon. And 